want to see how I achieve that? Stay tuned and keep watching. Today's video is going to be a full on highlight and contour video. So by the end of this, you will know how to highlight and contour like a pro. To begin with, I'm going to uh, just share a few, some of the few products I'm going to be using. For my contouring, I'll be working with this uh, MAC Cosmetics Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in the shade Dark. I'll also be working with Profusion Contour. Uh, it's a six shade contour palette and uh, brush. I'll also be using uh, my foundation. Uh, I will be using Revlon Cosmetics uh, Color Stay in the shade Caramel. I'll be mixing that with, I'll also be using this with uh, Revlon Photo uh, photo ready uh, face illuminator I'll also mix my foundation with Gosh Cosmetics foundation in the shade mahogany just to bring up you know the ideal of uh, my ideal foundation shade because I don't want to look too dark I don't want to look too light the whole purpose of wearing foundation is not to change the color of your skin it is just to even out the skin tone so now that that's blended, all right, I'm gonna go in with my um, with my Profusion Cosmetics contour uh, kit. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in with this shade of theirs. Okay, it's called the uh, light. I don't know if you can see it. Cream light, okay. It is a creamy kind of uh, concealer. So this is what I'm gonna be using as my highlighter, okay. So I'm gonna be going in. Uh, I'll be highlighting uh, the bridge of my nose, as well as my um, my forehead. I um I will also be highlighting the my nasal area as well as the top of my lip my upper lip and my chin for my contour i'm gonna go in again with the same color with the same palette but with this color here it's called the creamy sculpt so this is what i'm going to be using as my contour i'm going to be contouring my forehead as well as um my upper cheekbones so again I'm gonna go in and just set my highlight and my contour with my makeup sponges I'm using two different types of makeup sponges I'm using the bigger one for the broader areas of the face and the smaller one to do the nasal and the under eye areas So I'll go back in with my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush to further set the concealer into the skin. So now that that's set, I'm going to go in and bake the skin. So skin baking is basically a process where I will be applying a powder. In this case, I'll be using my banana powder from Gosh Cosmetics. Okay, this is the banana powder. So what it's gonna, what this basically does is that it is a mattifying and setting powder. Baking is a process where you will apply the powder on the or highlighted areas of the face. So in this case, it is the T-zone area, okay, as well as the under eye area. Those are the areas that I highlighted. And uh, the heat, and you will leave it to set on the skin. So the heat from your body is what is going to help the powder to set in the skin. So uh, for my banana powder application, I'm going to be using a dry makeup sponge, okay? I'm not using a wet one. I, I'm applying it with a dry beauty sponge. Um, this is for easier application.
so now that that's applied um i'm gonna leave that on you uh baking time okay so this is baking but when you actually leave it on the skin this is what you now call cooking right so cooking time is usually about 10 15 minutes just leaving it to set into the skin all right in that time you can actually move on to do other things like uh to do your eyeshadow application also note that this banana powder is also a very good uh primer okay it can be used as a primer for eyeshadow application so you set it or uh, you use it on your eyelids to as uh as a as a primer for eyeshadow application so 15 minutes has passed and the uh, banana powder has set in the skin it's now time to just dust off the excess you just have to just dust off the excess powder with a small brush just small light dusting is all you need okay just dust off the excess powder like so Again, go in with my uh, sculpting brush. Okay, so once the banana powder has been dusted off, I'll go in with my uh, regular powder to set the rest of the areas of the face. For this, I'm going to be using uh, Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline New York. The shade is color 330, uh, toffee. I will be using just a regular powder brush and I will just dust it in like so, the rest of the areas of the face. Now that the rest of the face is set, I now go in to uh, contour my face so i'll be going back into my profusion contour palette and i'll be doing it with the medium contour okay this shade um this is the shade i'm gonna go in to contour the area of my nose okay so ladies ladies you need to go easy on that nose highlight on that nose contouring okay um i'm not gonna contour the entire surface of the nose so i'm gonna work with this area over here first which is the bottom bit of the nose I'm gonna go in here drag that up here so I'm not contouring the entire nose it's just part of the nose Okay, and once the nose contour is done, I'm gonna move on to the to contour the uh, my forehead and my cheek area. So I'm gonna use an angle brush for this, okay? And I'll go in with the deep contour, the shade deep contour, which is the darker shade here. Okay, so for my nose, I use the medium contour, and now for the forehead, I'll use the deep contour. So again, I'll go in with my sculpting brush, okay, just to further sculpt that. So now that that's all set, um, I'm going to go in to do my, to go in with the blush, okay. So a uh, blush application uh, can be done using a blusher brush or it can also be done using an angle brush in this case since I am contouring I will be using my angle brush so for my blush I'm gonna be using um, wet and wild color icon blush okay it is a peachy color um, it is pearlescent pink actually 
take care to apply it only to the roses of the cheeks for my highlight i will go in using revolution makeup um i'll be using the the shades from this uh highlighter palette of theirs okay so i'll be going in with this orangey color it's to match the pearlescent pink that i used earlier from this palette here okay so i will be using my real techniques a setting brush okay this brush is a must-have for every makeup artist should have this brush in their makeup kit it's multi it's multi usage it can be used for contouring it can be used for eyeshadow application it can be used for uh, setting powder it is a multi-purpose brush so today I'll be using it as a, a highlighter brush okay so I'll just aim for my cheekbone okay A soft sweeping motion like that so um, for my bronzer um, I'm going to bronze the forehead as well as the lower part of my cheekbone as well um, for my bronzer I'm using MAC cosmetics gold deposit uh, number a b3 okay i will also be using an angle brush as well or a contouring brush for the bronzer application i'll apply it upon the entire forehead and just swoop that across and down so it's an l shape that's what you're trying to create Going back into my um, Revolution palette, uh, my Revolution highlighter palette, I'm going to now use this um, same orange color that I used for my highlighter. I'm going to go back in with my uh, Real Technique setting brush and just highlight the bridge of my nose. I'll take that same color again, move it down and all the way across. Now that that's done, thank you so much for taking your time to watch my video and listen to my hints and tips and tricks. Remember, I will be uploading a new video or three new videos per week. This is also a commentary channel, so um, please feel free to leave all your suggestions, your ideas, um, or whatever comments you have, uh, feel free to comment in the suggestions box below. I will also put a full list of all the products which I used uh, during the making of this video in the, uh, in, the, in the comments section below. Remember, I am available on all social media uh, channels or handles. So talk about Instagram, I am there. Talk about Facebook, I am there. Uh, TikTok, I am also on TikTok and I'm also on YouTube. So remember to please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel and click on the dumbbell to receive it, whatever notifications or whatever new videos I will have posted. So between that time and now, please remember to be fabulous and stay fabulous because that is what you are. Goodbye.